yogis, my name is Sonia and welcome to this gentle prenatal yoga flow. Take a seat on your mat, maybe on a pillow or on a block. And let's start this practice with focusing on our breath, really calming down, really arriving on the mat, taking a few moments. Closing your eyes, resting your hands on your knees or maybe on your belly. Making a connection with your body, with your belly, with your baby. Leaving everything behind for the next 20 minutes or so. And just really focusing on yourself. This is your time. And on your next inhale, make an effort to really get the navel out, your ribs up, your collarbone up. Inhale, inhale, and then on your exhale, drop it all back down. And at the bottom of your exhale, the navel goes slightly back towards your spine. Really deep breaths here. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, come up. And exhale, release it all out. One more time, inhale, belly button out, ribs up, collarbone up. Exhale, let it out. And one more time by yourself, inhaling, really taking as much oxygen in as you can and exhale it all out and now taking your hands in front of your heart and maybe setting an intention if you like for this practice maybe there's something that you want to invite into your life Maybe more peace, more tranquility, anything that comes to your mind. Just one more breath here. And then exhale, releasing hands onto your knees. Beautiful, interlacing fingers. Inhale, look up, reach. And then exhale, curl, change your chair, inhale again, reach, make yourself long, exhale, round the spine, a couple more times, inhaling, look up, exhale, fold and curl, and inhale, look up, reach, exhale, round your spine, and one last time, inhale, reach, and then let go of your fingers, exhale, arms by the side of your body, nice, and a couple of shoulder rolls, one direction, and the other, beautiful, and let's come into a four-point kneeling position. Maybe shaking out your wrists. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And let's go to our cat and cow here. Inhale, arch your back, look up, chin up. Exhale, curl, chin to chest. Inhaling up, warming up the spine. Exhale. Curl. And maybe it feels good to sway a little bit forward and backwards when you do your cat cows. Really listen to your body. What it feels good. Maybe even swaying your hips from left to right. All the 
time warming up the spine. Couple more times. Inhale, look up. Exhale, we round. Inhale out. And then the next time, tucking your toes and then hips leading up into your first down dog for this practice. Keep your fingers evenly spread, nice and wide. Feel free to keep your knees bent for this first down dog. Maybe bending one knee and then the other. Warming up and waking up the legs. And keep the head pressing through your arms. And then inhale, waving forward into high plank. Feel free to drop the knees. If you want a little bit more, keep the knees off the ground and the straight line with your body. Depending on the stage of your pregnancy, it might be easier to drop the knees. We are off balance throughout our pregnancy. So whatever stage you're in and whatever feels best for you, do that. High plank or knees down. Holding here, strong arms, strong shoulders. And then wherever you are, let's all meet back into downward facing dog. One more breath here. And then when you're ready on your next inhale, looking forward and with little baby steps, feet towards your hands. Feet about hips width apart, keep your knees bent, fold over legs, hands onto shins, lengthen spine, look forward. Exhale, fold over the legs one more time, bending knees and then rolling yourself up nice and slow, bone by bone. Head and neck come last. Exhaling here. Beautiful. Let's flow, flow to, through our sun A to warm ourselves up. Feet together, heels slightly apart, tucking tailbone, shoulders rolling down your spine. Inhale, reach up. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, hands onto shins, look forward. And exhale, hands on the mat, stepping back high plank. Again, feel free to drop the knees. Inhale here. And then exhale, knees, chest, chin, look forward. Keep elbows tucked onto your body. Inhale, coming straight into your cow. Look up. And exhale, back into downward facing dog. Three long breaths here. Maybe reaching the heels slightly more towards the ground this time around. And then on your next inhale, look forward. Step your feet between your hands. Look forward, lengthen. Exhaling, fold. And then inhale, root to rise, palm on up. And exhale. Let's find Utkatasana chair pose. So keep your, again, keeping your feet about hips width apart. Inhale, reach arms up, sit low. Belly slightly in. Holding here. And then inhale, sit up. Beautiful. And this time take a big step back with your right foot. Drop the right heel. Keep the front bend, front leg bent 90 degrees and finding warrior two here. Arms out. Making sure that the knee on the, is on top of your ankle. 
Shoulders away from the ears, tucking tailbone and sink low into the front knee. Three breaths. Inhale here, and then exhale, left elbow onto left knee, right arm up, and then maybe a nice little back bend, and then right arm shoots past your ear. Chest aims to open as much as possible towards the sky. And then on your next inhale, come on up. Warrior two, one more time. And then extending the front leg, heel to back leg in slightly, grabbing your block or a book to the, and place the block to the inside of your front leg. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, reach forward, 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 and then dropping left arm onto block and reaching right arm up, looking up towards right fingertips. Breathing deeply into the belly. Exhale, look down, and then inhale, come on up, and then parallel your feet, and slightly placing your toes inside, pigeon toe your the toes slightly, interlacing fingers behind your back one more time, inhale, look up, lengthen, and then exhale, folding forward with a straight back, and then dropping low. Arms reach forward. Your body weight tips slightly forwards into your toes. And let your head be heavy. Deep breath here. And then inhaling takes you all the way up again. Exhale, release fingers. And let's open towards the other side. So right toes pointing forward, left toes slightly in, bending right leg now, 90 degrees, tucking his tailbone again, and extending arms out, finding warrior two on your other side. Strong foundation. Strong legs. Take your three breaths here. And then inhale. Exhale, right elbow onto right knee. Again, left arm up and open towards the back ever so slightly. And then when you're ready, reaching left arm over and up. Chest opens towards the sky again. Feeling the opening in your right hip. And then the next inhale takes you all the way up, warrior two, one more time. Extending front leg, heel toe, back leg in. Take the blocks inside of your right leg. Inhale, hips are open towards the front. And then exhale, reach right arm forward, forward, and eventually let it drop down onto your block and reaching left fingertips up. 
Keep pressing your front big toe into the mat. This gives you a little bit more stability. And on your next exhale, look down. And the next inhale takes you all the way up. Take the block away. And this time, coming into goddess position. So pointing your toes outwards, knees outwards as well. Tuck tailbone again. Arms up. Holding here, sit nice and low. And then placing hands inside, to the inside of your thighs. Inhale here. And then exhale, right shoulder over towards left knee. Inhale, center. Let's do the other side, left shoulder, right knee. And one more time, each side, inhaling, center. Stay low in your legs. Exhale, right shoulder over to left knee, a uh, left shoulder. Inhale, center. And left shoulder over to right knee. Inhaling center, stay low in your legs, nice and strong. And then extending legs and stepping towards the front of the mat. Shake the legs up. And then placing your feet about a little bit more than hips width apart. Inhale, reach up. And then exhale, sit nice and low, coming into Malasana, yogic squat. Elbows to the inside of your knee, hands and heart in prayer position in front of your heart. Your spine is nice and long. One more breath. And then exhale, finding your way onto the mat. So helping with your hands or sitting back. Extending your legs in front of you. Keep the left leg straight and place the right, in, the right foot to the inside of your left thigh. Finding Janu Shishasana A. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then exhale, folding over the left leg. Keep the left toes pointing and flexed towards your face. Again, it might vary from the stage of your pregnancy, how far you can fold forward. So if it's just here, stay here, stay on top here. You just want to feel a nice stretch on your left hamstring. And inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands down. And let's go straight to the other side. Right leg extends. Take left foot in to the inside of your left uh, right thigh. Take your torso over towards that right extended foot. Keep the toes flexed. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, finding your version of Janu A. You might come all the way down to your toes. Or maybe you just sit up right here. Really listening to your body and tolerating, accepting its new limitations. Couple more deep breaths here, really sending breath to the stretch you feel at the most. And then inhale, come on up. 
and exhale by the side of your body beautiful let's do a windshield wiper motion again here knees go from left to right And then finding one last knee back bend. So finding your way down onto the mat with your back, keeping your feet, your legs bent, and then taking your feet close, as close to your seat as possible. Maybe you can tickle your ankles, grab hold of your ankles. If not, no biggie. And then coming, finding our bridge pose. Inhale. Reach your hips up and shuffle your shoulder blades together as much as you can. And maybe interlacing your hands underneath your butt and pushing your hips up. A couple deep breaths here. Keep pressing your knees together. Reach one more time and then exhale, releasing the hips back down onto the earth. Beautiful. And then taking your knees to the outside of your ribs and finding happy baby pose. Maybe you grab hold of the outside of your feet or maybe the calves, wherever it feels good. You really want to keep all the lower back onto the mat. Maybe rolling from left to right, giving yourself a little spinal massage for the end. And then release. And let's all find Shavasana. Roll onto one side, maybe grabbing a pillow. or a block, placing it in between your knees. And let's find one or two minutes of deep rest here. Shavasana, one of the most important poses. Really letting go and trust that you've done more than enough today. And remembering your intention. Slowly taking a deep breath into your belly again. Maybe standing, making yourself nice and tall. Stretching up. Feel free to stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. Otherwise, press yourself gently up into a seated position. Hands into the heart. Thanking yourself for making the time to practice today. Thanks for practicing with me. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to leave any comments below and I'll make sure I get back to you. Have a lovely day. Namaste.